Now what we want to do, now that we've got this first base part done, is to go ahead and create our assembly file so we can start seeing the construction of our bookends as they come together with each part we design. So what I'm going to do now is come up here and I'm going to create a new uh, make assembly from part and assembly. So we'll go ahead and click on that and we're going to go ahead and create a new file. So as SolidWorks goes and creates this new file for us, it's going to go ahead and open up and it's going to have the last part we selected over here in the feature manager uh, highlighted. So what I'll do at this point is go ahead and check that off as it places the file in the assembly file, the part file in the assembly. So again, for me, I really have a problem with that gray background. So I go ahead and go to plain white and I'll place that in here. Now, you would think that, okay, now he's ready to go ahead and start designing the other one. Well, no, not really. I'm going to go ahead, just as a matter of preference, not as a matter of, of what you need to do. I, I just prefer to do it this way. I'm going to go ahead and insert, go back here to the assembly tab, and I'm going to insert another part. Again, I'm going to place the same part back in this file as well. So as you can see, I can move this file around, and this part around, and I can zoom out. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. And I'm going to place that in here. So I'm going to go ahead and start lining this thing up so I can kind of get a feel for what my assembly is going to look like. So the first thing I'll do is I'll do an, I'll do a mate. I'm going to mate this surface with you know, when I select it, it'll come up with this pop up, and I go ahead and select the mate command, and I'll select that surface right there. Now, as you can tell, I went ahead and, and did a coincident mate lining these two up here. Well, I want to flip that direction around, and so I'll do it as that way. Now, it looks all kind of cockeyed and whopper jawed, as they say, but I'm going to accept that for now, except I'm going to do a distance off of that mate, and I'm going to key in, uh, this is set to millimeter and inches. Well, let's go ahead and stop right here. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and change it right here as I can. I'll flip that to uh, my inch pound second and it's already set to inch pound second as you can see here at the bottom and I'm going to give it a distance of four inches and I'll go ahead and make sure that's four inches go ahead and say four inches and I'll go ahead and check that off oh let's flip that around again there we go Hit accept and so there it is now, obviously these things are kind of all over the place, but I'm going to go ahead and click and create another mate here with the bottom of this part right there. So there the two are. They're put in this position, but as you can tell, they're not lined up uh, linear, collinearly. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that mate. And then I'm going to scroll up here and click on that surface there and mate it to, I'll zoom back out, Come back to this one here, that surface there. Now as I zoom out, you can see the two now are lined up and they're four inches apart. Um, let's go ahead and accept that right now. And let's go ahead. Now we're going to probably come back and actually move these out a little further so they can give our better definition of what our bookends are going to look like. So I'm going to go ahead and save this file. I'm going to rebuild it first. And I'm going to save this file. And I'll call this, put it in my folder for bookends. Give it a name, bookend assembly. Okay, go ahead and save that. And now I'll hit the F key to fit this. And there I can see my two bookend parts coming in. Now what it does for me when I do this, it allows me to, as I create a part, I add it to the assembly. As I create a part, I add it to the assembly. So I can see what my design is looking like as I progress. Looks pretty good. Now let's uh, go ahead and go back to our other part. We'll select the window pull down, and we'll come back to book in assembly there. Uh, excuse me, book in part. So there it is. Now what I'll do is go ahead and stop here, and we'll come back and create the next vertical part.